We'll have more on this. Francesco Rizzotto, Dean at the School of Law at Liverpool Hope University, joins us live now. Francesco, thank you very much for your time this evening. Now, Italy has long complained about not getting enough help from its EU partners in dealing with migrants arriving off on its shores. Is this the answer, though? Good evening. Well, it's certainly uh, an answer that uh, the current Italian government came up with um, simply because the European Union was not acting quickly enough and responding quickly enough to the kind of crisis that Italy has faced over the last uh, couple of years. Remember, the last 12 months, 160,000 migrants. I'm not justifying the policy, by the way. I'm trying to understand why they would go for this. They would also go for this, of course, for pol internal political reasons. This government was elected on a platform that it would stop and control uh, migration. It plainly hasn't because it's impossible to do so in the way they were suggesting. So they've come up with a really uh, interesting uh, whiz, uh, if I use the English term, uh, to basically send all the migrants that are picked up by Italian authorities in Italian territorial waters to two sites in Albania, under Italian law, under Italian jurisdiction. So this is the Italian answer. It's a political gimmick uh, that I don't think will persuade many people in Italy, even those on the government side of, of the fence. It, it's plainly obvious that that what the Italian government has tried to pretend that they've done something about it. Um, Francesco, I did want to ask you, how does this compare? Should we be comparing it uh, with the controversial agreement back here between the United Kingdom and Rwanda? It's not comparable. The Italians have been very, very clever. Uh, one has to give credit, if politically uh, not, uh, not particularly congenial. The Italians have been very clever because it's under Italian jurisdiction. The Rwanda deal is not the same. If the Italian, if the Al in Albania, if the Italian authorities accept claims for asylum, they will go to Italy. <laughs> Our, the British deal with Rwanda is they stay in Rwanda, under Rwanda jurisdiction. So the the two are so different. Obviously, the UK agreement is outsourcing basically uh, to a country that needs assistance. In Italy, it's not quite, not quite outsourcing because it's under Italian law and it's actually under European law, remember, um, as well. So, you know, the European community, the Commission has actually accepted uh, that, mm. that this uh, agreement is legal. Uh, it doesn't infringe the treaties. There might be a problem with human rights. But remember, Albania is in the Council of Europe and is therefore subject to uh, the uh, Convention on Human Rights. So. Chalk and cheese, profoundly different. On the face, they and, might and, look similar, but they're different. And, and on that, Francesco, the deal, as you say, it was endorsed by a European Commission President, Ursula von der Leyen. Does the European Union, do you think, see this agreement with Albania as a possible future template for migration in Europe? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, within Europe, uh, remember, we have to distinguish between uh, countries in Europe that are designated as safe and countries outside Europe where the designation is slightly different. I do know some European countries are trying to negotiate similar deals. I don't know whether they'll come off, you know, uh, Denmark and one or two others with countries in the Caucasus. I think that there will be slight challenges there because the concept of a safe country and then the issue of jurisdiction comes in. So it might be a template, but I think it will be extremely controversial if it goes outside Europe. Because remember, Albania wants to join the European Union. And, uh, you know, I, I think that there are there are possibilities, but, but one has to see it as, as, as something that is actually quite unique. Francesco, thank you very much for breaking that down for us. Francesco Rizzuto, live from Liverpool there.